How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. And if you guys are new here, we do a lot of fun, non-car related projects, home projects, and projects on the farming, kind of. The, uh, the at-home farming, the permaculture, the sustainable living, the fish farm, the, the chickens, all that kind of good stuff. So if you're new here, subscribe if you wanna learn about this kind of stuff. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys about my aquaponics system here. Now, this is a fully encapsulated aquaponics system where it's very sustainable, everything works together, and it's just a very good system. So aquaponics is the use of fish and plants together. Now, I'm still somewhat of a novice on this stuff, but I've had this system running for about a month to two months now. The fish are doing really well, the plants are doing really well. The system is working extremely well. So I wanted to break it down and show you guys exactly how I did it, what I did, the parts I used, and all of that kind of good stuff. So you guys can do your own because you know now more than ever, we all want to be able to grow our own things, especially you work from home, you got 20, 15, 20 minutes a day to work on this thing. That's all it takes. You don't need constant maintenance. This thing's super simple. It's very easy to maintain, anybody can do it, and you will get a lot of food and plants and fish from this. So, let's go over the system here. So the system started out as just a simple IBC tote. This was a food grade one that had hand sanitizer in it, and I picked it up for around $80. It was 330 gallons, and I cut the top off, so now the top is 250 gallons, but we use about 225. The top of it here is, you know, another 50 gallons and we are not using the whole thing, clearly. The main part of this, I would say, is the water flow. So I have a little drop-in pump here and then I have it ran, you know, routed like this right up the power cord right here. Very simple, drop it down to the bottom. I have it like this to aerate and then I have it come up here through a filter so we catch all that large debris because you don't want all the fish fecal matter getting all gummed up in your uh, clay media here. In here we have 40 fish that are hiding right now. The temperature is about 82 degrees, so not too bad um, for you Celsius guys. It's, um, I don't know, 28 degrees Celsius. So. It's pretty cool water. It feels cool to the touch, especially when the air is like 100. It's been staying really cool, pretty good. There's some scrap wood I had laying around and it works perfect as a platform for this, for my chop and flip here. On top, I put this canopy over because our Florida sun is extremely brutal and I was noticing the plants were kind of struggling a little bit throughout the day. So I put this up to help them. It helps a lot and then just a couple metal wire couple metal uh, rods here just to canopy it. It'll eventually come off, but for now, it's helping them not get too much crazy direct sunlight. It's mesh, so the rain and everything still comes through, and that works perfect. As far as the way that this system works is we just pump the water from here into here. The nutrients from the water and the fish are supplied to the plants. The plants consume these nutrients the bacteria and everything from the fish is what the plants crave to help with their nitrate levels and all those kind of complex things. I won't get into that too deeply right here, but the plants are used in conjunction with the water and then the water that comes out here is filtered through the plants and through the media and then it comes right back into here as nice, fresh or clean water that is great for the fish helps aerate it when it comes in and it just works perfectly like that. We have what I, the way that we have this set up is it's a uh, bell siphon. So it works like this. Once it gets up to this level here, it creates a siphon and then the water will just siphon all the way down until it's at the bottom. Right now it's about here. It's almost ready to hit the siphon and it should just break that seal and start pouring out right here. And in, a, and in a couple seconds here, we should probably see it start pouring out if all works well, which it has been working very well lately. Up top, we have all kinds of vegetation. There's most mostly cucumbers. This is a weird time of year for growing in Florida. It's very hot. 
this was a new system so I wanted something that would grow really quickly so I got a bunch of cucumber plants uh, tomatoes lettuce all kinds of good stuff some basil in here but the cucumbers seem to have been taken off the best they are out here vining around to everything they can and I've been plucking them out little by little because they're basically overgrown and I don't need that many um, I would recommend starting with more leafy greens these are more of like a stick green so it's not exactly as good for the uh, fish but since the fish are so small they are not using a crazy amount of resources right now and since these are still just leafy they're not using a crazy amount of resources either but on this side these plants are growing awesome they are just taking off on the back we have a drain right here it's an overflow drain that also drops to the bottom so it helps get the large debris out and then also it won't let this uh get too high in here so it's a nice double use there as far as filter system goes i just have a couple scotch bright pads on a cut coffee can here with some holes drilled in the bottom so the water drains through and then you know trying to keep all that gunk out as far as media goes the top is clay media and the bottom is a layer of rocks. These lava rock work really good. You just clean them off, put them all in here. And I used the rock as the bottom layer because the clay media is easier to plant in, but the rock is much cheaper. So I would recommend doing the mix of both potentially. Aside from electricity, all I'm running is this pump constantly. And it's just as simple as this right here. You can see it's got some slits cut in it to help aerate the water. Trying to get as much oxygen into this water as possible. The fish in here are tilapia. They should grow to about full size. In like six to eight months, they should be full size eating. Full size, ready to eat. They started out as fingerling. They've been in there about a month and they are growing very quickly. Feed them a couple times a day. And that's definitely something that's possible too. Some kind of automatic feeding system could easily be hung here and then this system becomes that much easier these are very viney plants up here so they would like to be able to climb a little bit better but i'm just trying to uh grow as many as possible right now until i find which ones i'm going to keep probably pull out a bunch of the other ones and only keep a couple of these plants because we don't need that many up here so there's the siphon just started up and now it's pulling all the water down and within a couple minutes, it'll drain the top completely, put some fresh water into here, and the cycle starts again. So every, you know, 10 to 15 minutes, this cycle repeats itself and continually throughout the day so that the plants get all the nutrients they need and the water down here stays nice and fresh for the fish. It's a really great system. It works really well. It's so nice to constantly have this like running water, water system out here. It looks nice. It's nice to walk out to and listen to and it's a relaxing sound. Just kind of a, it's kind of a nice looking system altogether. Now these tilapia in here will constantly reproduce. They will basically keep their entire area clean. They'll grow to be about two pounds before you harvest them to eat them. And they are very easy to feed. They'll eat almost anything. They'll eat plants that you can find, they'll eat grass clippings, they'll eat food, they'll eat yard waste. It doesn't really matter. Though These guys are really tough, really resilient, really easy to manage with the pH and the levels of the water. Does not, does not take a whole lot to do. These are very simple, simple systems and simple fish to maintain. There are more complicated fish you can get, but for ease of the system, I wanted to start out with as easy as possible. So that's where we're at where we got the tilapia for that reason so that's it guys i've had i have a bunch of other videos on this channel of the build process of this and i will post more videos as we have updates as we get to eat some fish as we get to eat some plants as we interact this system more to the home and what we're using it for i also use this water to water other plants and that's been helping them a lot too and that's it um i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if you guys have any questions about this stuff, anything that I should film dedicated videos on, and any questions I can, and any light I can shed on this system, I would be happy to do so. I hope more people can get into this stuff. I want to see all of you guys 
growing your own food, harvesting your own vegetables, harvesting your own fish. And if you have just a four by four square piece of property, you can do this almost anywhere. So I'm trying to make it as simple as possible for you guys. I hope this helped. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Keep it saucy.